What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, May the 16th. Pleasure to have you with us today. You know, if, if you've listened to our program or watched it for some time, you know that from time to time, we have featured a segment with the Most Policy Initiative uh, in Jefferson City with uh, Brittany Whitney. Well, today, uh, and of course, they work with the legislative session in Missouri. Today... I want to introduce you to two people who have been instrumental in that program for the for the past two years. Uh, we have Dr. Tome Granzier Nakajima. Yep, that's Did great. I pronounce that right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, Dr. Ramon Martinez. Yes. It's a pleasure to have both of you here. Now, for some people who may not be aware of what the most policy initiative is, explain that before we get into what you're doing. Yeah, so MOST is a uh, nonprofit Missouri based organization, and our whole goal is to really connect um, legislators in Missouri to evidence based research. Okay, and this is done in a nonpartisan way. Correct? Exactly. Yeah. You have been working for two years with the organization, mm -hmm. the legislative session has just come to an end mm -hmm. last week. What do you feel that you have given to the legislators that have been a benefit? Yeah, so the main thing that Ramon and I do uh, as part of MOST is we create what are called uh, science notes. So they're essentially informational briefs. They're just two pages long, and they give the legislators, you know, all the information that they need to know to make an informed decision. Um, and it's meant to be sort of comprehensive. We're both... Um, PhD trained scientists, so we look through all the scientific literature uh, and make sure they have all all the information they need. So what are some of the projects that you worked on, Ramon? Sure, sure. I provided this uh, last two sessions um, as part of our two-year postdoctoral fellowship um, with the most uh, 45 informational briefs, scientific notes, as well as 10 informational testimonies in front of uh, the committee leader, uh, the committees at large. Can you can you can you name the topics that you were dealing sure, with? Sure, sure. Extremely broad. Think non uh, cost sharing for breast examinations. Think um, postpartum medical coverage. Think um, state supported funding for physician residencies, especially for our, our, our rural areas where we need a lot more uh, training and area coverage. Um, that's just kind of a flavoring of the work that I've done. How do you go about coming up with the research? How do you get the information? Yeah. One of the important things that we try to do is we talk with the legislators and try to form a question, a question that we can then get good scientific data on and get comprehensive information for a very quick and succinct two-page brief that's both uh, uh, succinct, but also as informational as possible and as very nonpartisan and um, inclusive of all the research that we can find. Now, you, know, you, you keep saying two-page briefing. It's, it has to be kept to two pages. Why is that? Um, Legislators are very busy. Um, if it's any longer than that, you know, they may not have the time to get through it the all. the attention span may not be there. Yeah, well, they're also very busy. We don't want to say they don't have the attention span. I, I uh, understand what you're saying. <laughs> I understand. Okay, so I'll strike that from the record there. But, uh, the important, somebody's going to get upset about that. So I'm just, <laughs> but anyway, do you keep it to two pages? What kind of, what kind of response have you had from the legislators? I mean, I think we've had great response. Um, since we've both been here for two years, we've sort of seen how we've been able to build trust with legislators over the time we've been here. Um, we've been able to see that a uh, science note that we, we've written for last session had been used for this session to, pre to prepare for bills um, that didn't make it last time. So you feel that good has come from this? I, I personally think so, yeah. yeah. How do you... Now, you, obviously, you have personal feelings about the work that you're 
doing. How do you keep it nonpartisan? How do you keep your personal feelings out of a report that you're giving them in two pages? I mean, that that's a great question. Uh, I think the biggest key for that is our internal peer review system. So something that I'm writing, every single piece uh, that I'm writing is being checked by Ramon and another fellow we have as part of our team. And we're all sort of internally making sure that we're not putting in too much of our own biases into each of the science notes. Have you ever had some information taken out because it, it appeared to be biased? Uh, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, it happens all the time. Okay, yeah. so it really is, you really are striving to be totally nonpartisan with this. Mm -hmm. Now your two-year fellowship has come to an end. When you look back over the, the, the two years that you've been doing this, what would you say is the highlight? Of what, what, what are you most proud of with the information that you've discovered? Uh, I, I think it, it really feels good to get recognition directly from legislators. You know, like Ramon said, we provide informational testimony. And then a lot of times when that happens, you know, we'll, we'll get directly shouted out and like shown appreciation for what we do. And I think that is uh, feels really good. Yeah. Uh, Ramon? Yeah. Yeah. Um, me and Tommy are both trained scientists by trade, right? And the idea that we were able to, right after graduate school, get some transferable skills to work in the policy sphere has been really fruitful and very beneficial to our eventual career trajectories, I think. Yeah. Now, working with politicians, have you come away with a different feeling about how state government works? What have you, what have you discovered? So I realized that state government can actually be uh, a lot more impactful on the ground, if you will. Things have to be very nimble when you're working in state government, understanding that federal government always has input into the sort of funding and money that you might have access to, but how it's implemented is usually happening at the state level and how those decisions make are made are done at the state level. And what about you, Tomei? Yeah, I, I think exactly the same as Ramon, you, you learned that how much impact the state actually does have like before getting into this work um, i think people maybe scientists typically think to think that federal work is where you can have the most impact but actually there's a lot to be done at the state level yeah and local level too oh definitely the local level too that's a lot of times when people think oh it's not a it's not a presidential election it's not important for me to vote that's not true at all mm -hmm. because so many decisions that really impact our lives are on the local and the state level, not mm -hmm. taking anything away from the federal. Yeah. But it's important to to cast your vote for every election that we have. Was there anything, we're just about out of time, anything that surprised you in the past two years? The positive response, I think. I think it's been really the positive great response to see how most has grown as an organization from basically inception to acceptance by the legislature. Okay. Well, I appreciate both of you coming by and talking with us. If you want more information, you can check it out online. It's mostpolicyinitiative.org. You'll get all the information that you need there. Thank you both for coming by, and thanks for uh, to, to Brittany for sharing them with us. Okay? Thank Something you. you'd like to hear or see? Drop me an email.